This is awesome. It's a good team building event. I'll be forever indebted to this. That's Larry. We see this day as a blessing from God. I was amazed. <laughs> I didn't expect so many people at one time. I was referred to Pastor McCluster to help me find kids that would be good candidates for a scholarship to a private school. Before I left, I was looking around at the building and I said, you know, what happened to the roof? He explained that Hurricane Sandy, which was almost two years ago, had ripped off half the roof. They had $125,000 worth of damage. The basement was full, like five, six feet of water, sewage water just wiped out the whole community room and all the little uh, daycare rooms and things they have in the kitchen. The insurance company told them that they only were covered for $25,000 if it was a flood. And I said, we can't have this. We can't have this. In fact, we can't have this for another month. We can't have any more rain coming into this church. So we need to fix this. After Hurricane Sandy came by and did the damage that it did, flooded our fellowship hall downstairs and destroyed everything. We had to rip up all the carpet, throw out all the flooring. This whole yard was totally wiped out. It was literally covered with trash from the ocean and branches and a telephone pole. It had just been washed in uh, because of Sandy. It was just a couple of weeks before the convention and the last thing I need is a huge project before the convention. I mean, I'm scrambling, I'm under pressure trying to get things done. Even with all the extra burden taken on at the last moment, I knew I was gonna be fine and I was gonna make it. I would go to work in the morning and in the afternoon and come here late after work and stay to help. The church has a really low budget. They had volunteers. They had patched a few shingles on a few spots, but I don't think there's a lot of people associated with the congregation who are tradesmen, real tradesmen. Many people have come by this church and seen the challenges and have said they were gonna do something. We always ran into one other situation, mainly finances. I almost wanted to throw in the towel. But Larry's a doer, not just a talker. I knew that if I put the call out, I have so many great friends and skilled friends and volunteers who would be there just like that, and they were. I mean, we had, I don't know how many people were there. You know, they kind of rotated in and out, but there must have been 100 people, mostly from our company, but many from outside of our company that wanted to help. And we had as many people as we could have on the property. I mean, any more, and they would have gotten in the way. And we really had plenty of volunteers to do this. The train goes by directly across the street every day, and you also have the ferry to Long Island right across the street from the church. And all the people that come off the ferry and get on the ferry, they're seeing this church. And now they're gonna see this pretty little church with a big cross on the roof. It's gonna be a landmark. For the next 30 years that that roofing lasts, we put this white cross of white shingles in the field of black shingles. And now it sends a message and it's just gonna be a really special thing. You know, millions and millions of impressions. It's a blessing. These people just volunteer their time to come over and help us out. So the weekend before the project, Wendy and I bought all the paint and we put it on the building in patches to make sure the colors were going to work because we're drastically changing the color of this building. It was just a tan, monochromatic, earth tone. It needed something. So we put the colors on, but I also got on the roof and painted the cross on the roof to make sure it was gonna work, it was positioned right, it was the right size and all that. And we got that right and it was just fantastic. I was so excited to see it really go on in the shingles. The roof was the big thing. So we had to strip off two layers of asphalt shingles, which is a big job. Roof sheathing had to be replaced where the leaks were. We were well prepared to take it on ourselves, but my prayers were answered in that one of our contractor nation contractors, Klaus Larson, Klaus Larson Roofing answered the call. He came up with all of his guys who are experts. I mean, these guys do it every day and they are whiz-bang roofers. And we had another company, Bartlett Contracting, sent three guys who were experienced and had all the nail guns and everything. And they just knocked this out. We stripped the roof and they took the burden of putting the new roof on. And then we did so many other projects inside and outside the church besides the roof. We all volunteering, so, and I mean, we love to do it. Great idea, great cause, and fun to 
fun to participate. Today when the, the army showed up, everything came together and uh, we're making good time, so it'll be nice when we're all done, that's for sure. All week long we've been praying for your good weather, we've been praying for your protection, we're praying God to look down and show favor and bless you guys, all of you. We sat and talked and he shared with me what his thoughts were about it. I came back and shared with the congregation what my conversation with Larry was. I was still in shock. People just started weeping, shouting and cheering and all the different range of emotions that come when something as tremendous as this happens. Just joy from the kindness that had led Larry to help us. He's harnessing all this sincere goodwill of the people, putting it to good use. One thing we saw was that they had an old church van that had gotten stolen and they ripped the seats out of it and stuff. The pastor had bought a new church van last year and then couldn't afford to letter it. Sam Lane stepped up and he lettered that van and Dan Fitzgerald designed the graphics and man, this van looks fantastic now. Last night, for the first time in almost 20 years, the light on the steeple was on. And as the people were coming out of the church, and they could look up and see the light, it was a joyful moment. When my house burned down, there was two light fixtures on the last wall that was untouched by the fire. Tanner took these light fixtures off the wall, and we were able to put those two light fixtures, which are big, beautiful, perfectly suitable light fixtures on the front of this church and it makes us feel fantastic that a piece of our house is now on the front of this church and light way out there. I grew up in Bridgeport, so I have a special place in me for the city. It was really special to go back and really make a difference, and I plan on continuing to do that. From the bottom of my heart, I'm truly grateful. I know that the members that are here and the members that could not be here today are truly grateful, and it is, this is just, this is God's plan, this is God's miracle. It's unbelievable. It's, it's more than I could ask for. No one could give me a better gift. I think that a lot of people are looking for projects like this. I'm so proud of all my employees and friends and family. They didn't ask why, they asked when, and it was awesome.